My dear friends, welcome to the first Microsoft Flex Simulator 2024 SDK tutorial. I'm Federico, also known as uh, Mamu, and uh, I'm the lead developer of uh, Mamu Design, uh, creator of add-ons for Microsoft Flex Simulator, Power Lines, uh, Solar Farms, uh, Marinas, uh, Project List, uh, those big add-ons, you know. I'm also the head of um, Mamu Design Tips and Tricks Discord, find the link uh, in the description below. If you want to join, this is the largest uh, community of Discord uh, about uh, MFS SDK scenery design. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create uh, a project in Microsoft Flex Simulator, a basic project, where you can um, modify uh, a default scenery, uh, remove buildings, uh, add uh, little objects. So very first uh, overview of the Microsoft Flex Simulator SDK. For this tutorial and to create stuff, basic stuff, you don't need any special tool, you don't need to download any Anything. Uh, you just need the, the, the basic game. If you already are into the um, scenery design uh, from uh, 2020, um, you should uh, be familiar with uh, the, the menus that we are that we have in uh, 2024. And to start, you need to be a developer, so you need to go to the settings and advanced options and turn on developer mode and you'll find uh, the, um, the menu, the familiar menu uh, where you can uh, do stuff like uh, see your FPS and a bunch of other tools. Let's uh, go and create our first project. So I'm going to file new project. And the first thing I want to choose is the uh, directory where I want to uh, store all of my projects, not the one that uh, we are um, creating now, but every every other project can be your documents, uh, folder, in everywhere, in your desktop, everywhere you want. So this is the, a test project uh, uh, for tutorial and the project name, and I'm going to press enter in every text box uh, in the um, editor. The default creator name is Mamu Design. I'm going to press enter to confirm Mamu Design again. I'm going to press enter to confirm. I'm going to click create a new project. Uh, it's going to be a package, it's always a package. I'm going to click next. And uh, next we can choose the type of project we want to create. I usually start with custom. Um, if I'm doing an airport, no problem. I can add uh, um, airport stuff later. I usually do custom or you can use airport, whatever you want. Airport as a, um, um, a more... Uh, uh, a more guided uh, wizard to create the airport stuff. I'm gonna click on custom and uh, the title uh, will be test uh, 2024, package name test 2024 and in content type I'm gonna select scenery. I'm gonna press next and now he's asking to add an asset group. An asset group is like a folder where uh, stuff uh, of the same type are stored in your project. Uh, mainly, we are using two asset groups, two types of asset group for basic um, sceneries. One is the placement asset group and the type is BGL and I'm going to click create. And um, this is your uh, package and this is the new asset group we have created. You have this little window, the project inspector. If you and if you don't have the project inspector, you can click view project inspector, and uh, here's the little window, and you can move it everywhere on the screen, and it will dock on the screen, or you can basically dock in another window, and this is the setup that I usually use. Uh, okay, now we are ready to create stuff, and for this tutorial, I'm going to an airport. I'm gonna start a flight and pray that the game uh, works. <laughs> okay, we have uh, loaded up at the airport and uh, we start. Uh, we can start doing stuff. So I'm going to placement, click on project inspector and then click load in editor. This uh, material view windows always appears. You can close it or um, minimize it if you don't need. You can always open it later. And um, to move into the, um, your project, uh, you are basically now in the developer camera. And the developer camera can be moved uh, using your uh, W for forward, S backward, and A uh, for left, and D for uh, right, W, S, D, key. 
and uh, you can press E uh, to go up and Q to go down. You can also use uh, the mouse and uh, to, to move uh, with the mouse you need to press the Alt key on your keyboard and uh, left click and then panning your mouse you can uh, orbit the camera. You can also um, go back forward by pressing always Alt and uh, the central mouse wheel uh, with a um, mouse wheel you can uh, zoom in and out and uh, basically that's it with the alt and right click you can do what is the pitch of the camera uh, pitch and the color of the camera okay and this is the basic movement so for the first project uh, we want to uh, remove this building and to remove this building i have the i well, right now I am in the scenery editor uh, and this is open by click load in editor. Uh, loading a BGL, you know that placement is a BGL asset group, will open automatically the scenery edit editor and we have no objects here. And I want to add objects. If you don't see objects, you can click on view and open objects. Now uh, you have uh, several object types and the airport is an object type so as i said later you can always add an airport every time you want so let's delete it now i want to remove this building because later on i want to add the mine and i can use for this task a polygon i'm gonna press add the polygon is put into the scenery editor where there is a the list of the objects that we have added on the scene. Right next to the mouse, there is a little red cross, and this is where we want to place the points of the polygon. So to place a polygon point, we're gonna click Control on your keyboard and click on the mouse to place the polygon. So I'm gonna place a point here and a point here. I always have, have my Control keys down and another point here, always have my control key down. When I'm done, I'm gonna press enter. And as you can see, I'm not more in uh, the edit uh, polygon, uh, in, the, in, in the edit mode for the, for the polygon. And now a strange, uh, a strange thing is appeared in the center of the polygon. This is called the, the gizmo. And if you over on the gizmo, you can uh, click on the center mouse wheel to change the gizmo um, functions. So this is the move function and if you click you can move any object. You see the move with uh, with arrows. Click again on the center mouse wheel and you have uh, the rotate and uh, you can use the scale tool and the scale tool basically you can scale only in uh, all direction. You can scale only in a, on a single direction. So mm, this polygon uh, at the moment has uh, no properties and in fact isn't doing pretty much anything. Oh, about uh, you can move every type of uh, feature in the scenery. So I want to move uh, a vertex. I click on the vertex and I can move it. So as I said, let's uh, change the feature of the polygon. So I'm going to its properties. If you can see the properties window, you can always uh, go into view. Please remember that we are in the scene and the editor, view properties, view properties, and now we can set what we want to do with the, this polygon. We want to exclude buildings and I'm going to click on buildings, exclude all and the building is going away. Uh, I want the clubhouse back. I can simply make the polygon shorter and the clubhouse is back and will reappear. Okay. Wonderful. So I want to remove this uh, this tree. How to do that? Let's add another polygon. So go to objects, add the polygon. So control click, control click, control click, and control click, and enter, and we have our polygon. We're gonna go to properties, and this will be a vegetation. A vegetation will add by default vegetation, as you can see is adding vegetation everywhere but I don't want to remove vegetation so I'm gonna set exclude vegetation 
and now vegetation is excluded. So right now on the scene we have uh, two polygons and here they are. You can always rename a polygon, so no hunger for your convenience and rename no tree. Double click on an object will focus the object in the editor. Now what we can do else, we can add some, uh, uh, some cones because we don't have cones on this, um, on this runway. Cones are scenery objects, uh, scenery type objects. So we're gonna click on scenery and the first time you will load uh, the screen, uh, loadings will appear here because uh, the, the game is uh, loading uh, the thumbnail of every object you have uh, in, the, in the base game. I want to add a cone, so I'm gonna select all to select object from all the packages I have installed. Uh, for instance, I wanna add objects uh, only from uh, my Marinas package. So I'm gonna click only on Marinas. As you can see, I'm always see a handful of object. And if I want to add um, this beach here, I'm gonna click add. I'm, I'm zooming in with the mouse wheel. And here is the beach chair. So this model has its center below the ground, for reasons. And I'm gonna um, put it above the ground by going on the properties and toggle it then uh, snap to ground. And now with the move tool, I can bring it up. Cool, isn't it? Now for the cones, if I search cone in my library, I have no cone in this library in Marinas. I have in the all, because it's um, searching in uh, basically all libraries of Flex Simulator, and I can add this, uh, this cone, maybe. I'm gonna click add. Okay, maybe <laughs> the, well, I can place the, the cone. I can move it a little bit above the ground so you can see it better. Okay, now I have uh, one, uh, one cone and I can rotate it, I can uh, scale it by using uh, uh, the central mouse wheel and uh, with all the gizmo I can scale uh, it. And if I want to have uh, a row of cone, I can duplicate it. I can multiple select by clicking on control and dragging the mouse and they have selected uh, both of the cones and I can move both together. If I duplicate all the cones, I can move them in this way. And if I want to keep my scenery editor organized, I'm gonna create a, a group and call it uh, cones and as you can see, uh, all the cones are uh, now in this group. Uh, when I have groups or with all the objects, I can hide them by clicking on this uh, uh, eye icon or locking them to avoid moving accidentally. Without a lock, I can select them. Okay, cool. Now we are happy for this tutorial and we can save the scenery. Uh, remember, always press save nor the save because this save saves only changes on the project itself but we want to save changes on the scenery so i'm gonna press save and only the first time you save a scenery uh, you save um, an xml uh, in the end but only the first time you save a scenery you will have the save dialog and uh, here we go again, you have to place this file in your uh, um, project folder. It was a project tutorial. It will go in package sources, scenery. This is the name of the package. This is the name of the asset group you have already, you have created, you know, placement. Now we can give it a name, uh, my scenery placement, with uh, avoid um, spaces and uh, save. Got it? 
only one time save as if you click again save you don't have the side dialog again very important because a lot of people uh, have issues with uh, with this as always have issue with this now the scenery is uh, saved if we want to mo make modification to this scenery later on um, yes no this is because we have the, we haven't already compiled so if we want to make modification to the scenery we can go to file open recent and uh, or, or open project and open the test object tutorial and here it is we have our placement asset group to summarize this is the name of the package this is an asset group we can go to view project inspector loading editor and we are back with the scenery editor with our objects placed in the editor now if we want to see how this scenery is when the editor is not open also known as the community we need to compile the project so we can go to the project and click build all it's gonna take a while okay this is a, uh, a warning i read and understood and i want to see that anymore zero errors it means that our um, package has been compiled now we can close the project editor if we go with the windows explorer to um our documents folder we have where we have saved our um, project we now have a packages folder this come from the build all this and the packaging come from the build all and inside the packages folder we have the compiled scenery that we can put into the community to see our work and I strongly advise to avoid putting your stuff in community if you haven't still uh, finished your work. So put stuff in community only when you have finished working of a scenery. If you want to see it, put in community, put in community then uh, start the game, see, it, uh, see the scenery at work, and uh, then uh, close the game, re remove uh, your uh, scenery from community, and uh, load it back in the editor uh, if you want to make changes and um, this is all for today very basic um, tutorial hope you like it if you have any question you can um, subscribe to the discord i'm always there there are a lot of competent people that can help you solve any issue with your um, with your development see you soon bye bye